Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today and this is a general reading that could help any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Page of Cups. So the Nine of Swords is, you know, an illustration where pretty much what you see is what you get. Uh, this woman here rising up out of her bed, hands in her face, probably sick with worry or concern, guilt, but it's the type of feeling, it's the type of anxiety that keeps you up at night. Something's on your mind. Maybe you can't get it out of your mind. And so it just keeps swirling and swirling and swirling enough to really stress you out. This is a card where you just feel, you may feel so out of sort, sorts. <laughs> you feel just, um, it just might feel overwhelmed, overwhelmed with life that's on your plate, where you are right now. And it's a feeling that we all can relate to. And particularly there are moments in our life when we feel more stressed than other moments. And, um, you know, we always find a way to deal with the stress and the anxiety and uh, this feeling of just anxiousness. And you have to realize that this is a temporary situation and you have to get back to basics, something that will help you get out of bed the next day with a good thought, with a one small tiny step that can help improve your mindset or at least um, put your mind in a different place than where it's been right here. Uh, it doesn't mean that things go away automatically and so quickly, just like magic. But if we can start to process slowly, step by step, then maybe we can get a little more distance from it and can uh, approach it or problem solve or figure out things or get counsel, get some good advice to help us. So with this sense of anxiety, here's the eight of wands. And the eight of wands is typically can be about news coming your way. So this news could be stressful to you. It could be unwanted. It could be something that again, is making you think and worry and be concerned. The Eight of Wands also suggests activity, that things are very busy, that you may feel uh, like you have a lot of things going in the air. Maybe you're taking care of some people. Maybe you're taking care of more than your fair share of the responsibilities. But the Eight of Wands could be projects beginning or projects ending and um, may require you to make some decisions quickly. There's a sense, a sense of movement here. Things are moving quickly of uh, the swift nature of these wands. And the eight of wands goes to communication as well of getting news of getting an email, maybe you're having to email or make a call, getting to touch, getting in touch with someone. And whether this is causing stress or you're waiting on a decision or you're waiting on information from someone, there's something that it's maybe it's bubbling up in you that's causing the sleepless nights. So, you know, here's the page of cups within this reading in the Page of Cups is this youthful, sincere, earnest page, hoping for uh, experiences within relationships, love, caring, kindness, consideration, gentleness, that will make him or her wiser and more experienced in the world. 
learning the ways of the world. And so there are a couple things here. This could be the thought of gentleness or kindness is something that you need is that you need some tenderness from either a friend or a loved one, a family member, that you need this expression, this emotional connection to help while you're really feeling this nine of swords. The page of cups can also be news or it can be an opportunity. It could be the possibility of meeting someone meeting someone that you have a real connection with that brings joy or happiness. But um, the Page of Cups can go to how we express ourselves emotionally, how we receive kindness and consideration, how we return it to others. This is a, you know, it, it says a lot. It says a lot about worry and upset and sleeplessness that there's an unsettled feeling. We've got news coming in, which could be contributing to that, or you're waiting on news that is causing this anxiety peace. And here's the page of cups offering the cup with the fish, just saying, here's, here's what I have to bring to you. I'm bringing you some love. I'm bringing you some kindness. I'm bringing you maybe a smile for the day. So that's how I would, that's how I view things, which is the page I think is there to provide the kindness, the sweetness, the gentleness. And it's something that is helpful when we feel down, when we feel pressured when we have a lot of things going on within our life. So number wise, we have nine and one is 10 and 10 and eight is 18. And that reduces to nine and nine is about nearing completion. It's about idealism, wisdom, perhaps spirituality, And so let's choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day, a thought for the day, something to give us a little more, uh, another message. You are seeing the situation accurately. Hmm. Well, sometimes it's important to see things clearly and to really know what's going on. We may not like the message that we receive accurately or that we see, and we have to deal with it. Other times it's a very clear, crystal, crystal clear message that can embolden us and can inspire us. But again, uh, so many messages, so many days, so many hours, so much information coming to us. So this is a very interesting spread for the day. And I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, share this video, comment below, and come see me tomorrow for another reading. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.